Hello guys, welcome to the Evolving Knowledge Channel. Ready to learn? Today I have a video about chemistry, I will explain carbon dioxide. What do you know about this chemical compound? What can it cause to the environment? What is carbon capture and storage? Curious? Ok, let's stop wasting time and go to the video. Stay tuned. Carbon dioxide, or only CO2, is a colorless gas with a sour taste. Its density is about 53% higher than that of dry air. These gas molecules consist of one carbon atom, and two oxygen atoms connected by chemical bonds called covalent bonds. It occurs naturally in Earth's atmosphere as a trace gas. The current concentration is about 0.04%, 412 parts per million, by volume rising from pre-industrial levels of 280 parts per million. Natural sources include volcanoes, hot springs, and geysers, and it is freed from carbonate rocks by dissolution in water and acids. Because carbon dioxide is soluble in water, it occurs naturally in groundwater, rivers and lakes, ice caps, glaciers, and seawater. CO2 is produced by all aerobic organisms when they metabolize organic compounds to produce energy by respiration. It is returned to water via the gills of fish and to the air via the lungs of air-breathing land animals, including humans. Carbon dioxide is also produced during the processes of decay of organic materials and the fermentation of sugars in bread, beer, and winemaking. It is produced by the combustion of wood and other organic materials and fossil fuels such as coal, peat, petroleum, and natural gas. What are the effects of CO2? Basically, restlessness, drowsiness, increased heart rate and blood pressure, sweating, and headache. See this graph with different concentrations and what it can cause. As you can see here, when the concentration gets above 1000 parts per million, the consequences are pretty bad to the human species. Above 40,000 parts per million can lead to death. Another consequence of the high concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is the greenhouse effect. This phenomenon is caused by the gases presence in the atmosphere and keeps some of the radiant energy received by Earth from being returned to space, and our planet gets warmer. This graph shows the overview of greenhouse gas emissions. As you can see, Carbon dioxide contributes a lot to the greenhouse's total amount in the atmosphere. This is the reason so important to reduce the emissions of CO2. Some technologies, called CCS, carbon capture and storage, capture waste carbon dioxide, transport it to a storage site, and deposit it where it will not enter the atmosphere. Are you interested to know what we can do to help the environment? I have few recommendations. Reduce the use of transport on short journeys. Opt for the use of bicycles or public transportation. Use biodegradable products. Encourage selective collection, among others. Hi guys, we are at the end of another video, I hope you enjoyed it. Please send me a message or comment, email, direct in the social media suggesting topics. Let's spread the knowledge worldwide. Before you go, please like our video, and if you think we deserve. Subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.